Welcome to the Marvel Sports Worldwide Podcast, where we discuss your favorite Marvel sports. We bring you in-depth analysis of each event across many different Marvel sports competitions. Catch all the information and drama you want to hear about your favorite players, teams, events, and more right here on the MSW Podcast. guys um i don't even know that's how we start this episode because this is uh this is our first um difficulty we face so far as a podcast team here at MSWP we uh as many of you know here now in the live chat uh well at least a few of you the audio um from beta wolves our guests that we have recorded but most of you have not actually heard yet was uh, lost. It was corrupted, lost, whatever the word is, it doesn't matter, but we don't have it, and we can't edit it, and we can't produce it. So, um, yeah. I'm here at 12.07, 12.07, seven. fuck it, 12 or whatever, in the morning, in my world here, this is late, That that's really what it is, and yeah. I'm here rambling, and I can't even do it very smart, because, well, it's late, and so... We're here filling it up. We're here filling this week of talk right now. And uh, we're going to try to re-record next week. And we're going to try to get uh, part A and B out in the consecutive two weeks from today. But this next 45 minutes to an hour, I don't know how long it's going to be. We're really just going to ramble. Mr. Waff has a little bit more in his head still. So he's actually going to try to bring up a topic. But literally, I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is... Um, this is some late night marbles. That's what we'll uh, maybe I'll call it that, or maybe I'll call it something else. I don't know what the title will be, but it definitely is some late night marbles. Uh, so, Mister Waff, anything intelligent from you? Uh, so, I, I want to at least uh, give a recap of like the discussion that we had about the the situation with Marble Olympics name changing. So, because we have, since we have all the information, we can do it real quick. So, what if you haven't heard? The um, Yella is planning on changing the name of Marble Olympics to something else because of legal issues. For, for, because in America, they actually have a trademark on several phrases like Olympics, Olympian, and then just the suffix Olympics. Anything that can refer to Olympics is trademarked. And as a result, they like they got actually pressure back in 2018 to change the name, but they never followed up on it, which was kind of strange. And so they wanted to change it back then, but it didn't happen because m and use the name Winter Games, which is what their plan to do at the time was. And then recently, if you noticed, since they were on ESPN, they had to censor out the word Marble Olympics on all the banners, even though they did miss one. And so after this, they have now decided to just change the name so that they don't have to deal with any legal issues in the future. Some fans are upset and because it's a name that we've come to associate with the whole thing in like for the past four years now. And so, and then we can't, and as far as at least we've looked at it, I haven't really found a, a word that could replace Marble Olympics that kind of sim- symbolizes what the Marble Olympics is, which is a variety of sports and stuff. And so it's a lot, a lot of discourse happening, a lot of people giving name suggestions and no one's really sure what is going to be in the end. Yeah, um, that is that is a real point. That is a true point. That is actually a big drama that's going on. It's hard for me to give 100% straight thinking right now, but I can speak a little bit to that because, uh, you know, in knowing that, uh, I believe that the name should at all costs be kept, the, the name Marble Olympics. It, it is an iconic name. And I know that with the ESPN difficulty of having to blur out the the word and the copyright and everything, um, the JMR doesn't want to upset people and are now very hesitant to uh, to keep that name. It's just it's iconic for the series, you know. It that's what draws people in. The word is catchy. The name is catchy. You know, it's one word. It can fit on a shirt. So it works really well with the merch. It, it you know it, it kind of describes the whole thing. And it, and to take that away, um, first of all, it takes away a little bit of the charm of it all. You know, um, you know, 
changing your marble competition from Marble Olympics to like Grand Super Marble World World Cup is like a difference, you know, because it just doesn't sound as cool, you know. But it also takes away that aspect of if I'm wearing a shirt, um, you know, some merch, and you know, it 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 doesn't have a name that is catchy and get attention, then you're not gonna get as much other random people just uh, noticing. So like if, if you had if you called it like Grand Super Marble World Cup, that'd be either be on a shirt and be way too long to read. So no one's really going to notice that's not already in the community or it's, it's just going to go on as an acronym. And then the, that wouldn't mean anything to anyone. It's like just as far as that advertising goes, as far as trying to get it out to the world, keeping that short word with the world word marble in it, that's what's keep giving it that whole, um, you know, ability to uh, attract other attention uh yeah and i i kind of agree I mean, with that like it's it's such a good w- name for what this what this show is and so anything else kind of doesn't feel like it does it justice but ultimately it's better than having it like banned in america like with, and like because because american audiences i imagine would make up a large portion of their sales and their viewership and so if like that it was banned because like, the as far as I'm aware, the, this issue is only like America's trademark on Olympics, and so they could only stop sales and the show be, being on YouTube in America. So it'd be kind of like how Article 13 prevents things in Europe, but it would just be the other way around. So and people, so you'd either need to get into VPN or you would just have to not get to see the show. And so ultimately, I think it's the best decision to change the name just because it keep make sure that everybody will have the ability to see it, and you don't have to worry about losing the show or losing merch sales but it's i wish that it didn't have to happen at all yeah that is, that is a that is a good topic and a good point uh, a better one from when i'm awake but um <laughs> i think that we should read some fan stuff uh we have some fan mail we have one fan mail oh. uh, which is better than zero how about that mr waff we're getting that fan mail now sweet um <laughs> uh let's let's look at it Let's see. Uh, we're going to find it, and you're going to wait. If you're out there listening, you better be waiting because, well, I'm looking. I'm looking for it. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 I saw this comment first. So let's, let's just go to the comment, then I'll get back to the, the. Uh, oh, God damn it. Do we want fan get mail? Yeah, fan yes, mail. If, if you if you want to give us fan mail, then sure, yeah, absolutely, like. It gets some interaction with the fan base and stuff. Like, if you have things you want to talk about, then absolutely, yeah, come come contact us if you want. With the we have our Gmail, um, MSW Podcast at Gmail dot com is probably it the doesn't even way. know what the Gmail is. Uh, and then so like, I thought you didn't know, so I, I just I just screamed that just in case. I've been it would have been the, funny if you didn't. Okay? I've been, you're supposed to. Okay. Well, too bad I got it right the first time. And then you you'd also <laughs> you'd also um contact Marble Guy who the Twitter at at Guy Marble. And, and that is how many Ys, Mr. Waff? Two Ys. He does know his stuff. How about that? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, why is there I, two I, Ys? Because yeah. someone else in the world named themselves Guy Marble on Twitter, Twitter with one Y. And I don't understand why. Because that guy doesn't do a Marvel Sports podcast. And I do. So I should get the one Y. But you know what? That's besides the point. Um, and I guess if you want to, yeah. you, you can contact me on Twitter too. It's at Commander Wolf. The same, same as my username. Just no spaces. Yep. Or uh, Mr. Mr. Waff. You, uh, you got it, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, to read a fan comment, because I don't have any topics. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. This is someone... I mean... someone... Silence. <laughs> okay, this is something someone said on episode 10, um, which I thought was interesting and, and I don't agree with, so I'm going to... Already giving my opinions. I haven't even read it. Oh, okay, I think but, uh, now. Yeah. The reason that okay, let's just read it. But by, by Connor Ridge, uh, Mr. Mr. Ridge, uh, very into the marble sports. Uh, the reason that Limer fans threw things under the track in ML nineteen or twenty nineteen qualifiers because they disliked the Raspberry Racers, not because they were upset with the Limer's performance. Uh, that is a interesting comment, and um, here's the thing. I don't care why they did. That's not my question. Okay, you, you know, you, you probably were so excited to make that comment. You're like, oh, he's, he's not even right anyway. So, you know, you're probably so excited, like, proving me wrong. But listen, the point of that 
discussion, I guess what we talked a little bit about the Limers throwing debris in the field, was the fact that they were performing well in that event. All right? So, like, no matter who they didn't like or what happened, they got they did well. Why would why would your fans of your team get upset and cause a disruption cuz you were doing well? I don't understand that. So like I don't it, like like no comment that uh, any Connor or any Ridge gives is is going to really, you know, stri- uh, change the fact that they did well in that event. I mean, and then for some reason the fans were angry. Like, uh, maybe they were just surprised because the Limers, you know, usually suck, you know? Uh, yeah, I said it! The Limers suck! Um, and sorry, like, my household. Maybe, but, like, house. yeah. And, like, the, the other problem with, like, how they did as we was, like, but doing that resulted in the race having to be... Like, was the race redone for that one? What like, do you mean, was like, the... Like, like after, was, the, after, uh, the, after the obstruction, like, did they redo the run, like, as, like, as an obstruction? No, um, no, they did not. No, okay. they didn't. They didn't. That was like at the end of the uh, whole event. The Limers had placed like second overall. Um, people thought they actually were going to qualify. People were like, oh, Limers. Um, but no. I mean, they, I don't know why. It, it was a, uh, it was a weird occurrence, and uh, there's no explaining it away. Um, it's just Limers fans are psychopaths. All right, I'm going <sighs> to call it right now. And I'm I don't mind the Limers, so I may be a little bit of a psychopath. I guess that makes me that. I mean, I mean, I can't believe I just said that. I mean, that's what happens when I podcast at twelve fifteen a.m. Uh, I, I guess like, so. So since we we lost the rant for M and H racing last time, you wanted to do it again, I suppose. What do you mean? What do you mean? So I do it? Did I even do it last time? Yeah, you you, you did. We ended up doing it regardless. Does last time even exist? I mean, like you know, I don't know. I mean, M and H, man. I mean. They suck. There's the <laughs> there's the rant. I don't know. I know Titan put something in uh, above in the chat uh, where the where M and H is pretty much like, hey guys, you know what? Uh, it was fun doing the marbles, but um, I'm just gonna blame YouTube algorithms that I can't explain, and we're well, just no, gonna no. race Hot Wheels now. Like the, um, the algorithm was actually failing. Like a lot of um, kids' content was being affected, but YouTube put a, twi- a tweet out saying that there was an issue and they're going to try and fix it. So it, this was an actual algorithm issue like, with just kids' channels in general that were being affected for some reason for this like the past two days or something like that. And so yeah, but you think that was a spe- they, you think that was a specifically M and H problem and not like no, a million? No, I, I literally looked at other right, channels. There yeah. were other channels who made videos about it. There were other channels. Right, I'm, I'm pretty sure that won't affect M and H choice of of. Uh, you know, stopping marble sports and moving to Hot Wheels sports, if that's a thing. But I mean, I mean, that's besides the point. I mean, the way I see it, that's totally excused because they know their content was bad and they're just like, you know what, let's just race cars now because I don't have anything better to do. You know, I mean, like, because he's sitting there, he has like 100, I don't know how he has it, but he has like 150,000 subscribers and he's like, you know what, um, I'm not very good at marble racing. I, You heard that marble guy, he was very upset. Uh, 400k. They have 400k subscribers. Is that true? Because uh, if that's so, yeah. true, they've been around for 11 true, years. Okay. Well, um, that's retarded. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that they have that many subscribers and produced content that I actually, um, I don't. I said. I think I said this in the. Well, no one. Most of you wouldn't really know because that episode never came out. Um, but I said this in the episode that you know was corrupted. Uh, that. I appreciated the quality of smaller channels, Marvel Sports, more than I did MFA's tournament, uh, not MFA, uh, MNH Racing's tournament. Um, actually, MFA's tournament, I actually checked out to try to like compare like l- small channels to MNH Racing, and like, and actually, I enjoyed MFA's quality and production more than MNH. MNH has four hundred thousand subscribers. MFA has like four hundred. Yeah, and I shouldn't be enjoying that more. You know, not any shots at MFA because, well, well, that's more of a compliment because he did a great job on his video. But, like, the fact that a, a channel that almost has as many subscribers as JMR, I mean, they shouldn't be performing. They shouldn't be producing quality that bad. It, it was just bad. It was just really yeah. bad. And go watch it. You don't have to just listen to me talk about it. Just go watch it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Waffle. Yeah, the, the whole cutting out issue makes it hard to figure out when you're done talking. Sometimes you know. But uh, okay. Well, then just just let me just let me ramble on. It's like right, twelve twenty a.m. Right. in the morning. All right, so, but, I mean, like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know okay. what? Mm-hmm. Go back okay. to your bowling alley. Uh, uh, Go back to your bowling alley. Hey, I don't work. I mean, 
but <laughs> could you imagine anyways, if so, we like there wait 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 that'd be so funny if we recorded this um with you uh at the bowling alley you work at oh that'd be and, so like, awful then like so you awful. have the you have the pins just just going in the background like if we have when we do like phone calls and shit. that's the funniest oh. thing that would be so funny we should do that like one of these episodes like like down the line just as like a meme for, for the april 1st episode of course yeah april uh, fools just like uh, yeah. <laughs> you can keep but, more track of the bowling game than our conversation yeah. <laughs> but uh like so in the original conversation um we talk about how like what like why like, despite the fact that he has a higher quality of like of footage and stuff why like, why you enjoyed um marbles for autism more than mna tracing and what we discussed originally was like it had it comes down to presentation ultimately that determines w- what you enjoy because like with um for instance i guess for an example uh with uh, a marble May- for marble mayhem what makes it so interesting is that like you have and also with the marble olympics is that you have a commentator who puts a lot who's got a lot of energy and stuff and the music is all whenever they have it is kind of actiony and like it gets you into the the feel with mnh racing for his half of the summer games he had a very unenthusiastic commentary it's like did they make it and then they do like the, the constantly. <laughs> i know it, i remember that yeah <laughs> constantly that was actually that was actually his commentary like yes. like that was actually true it was like it was like oh my god is something gonna happen it yeah. happened. Yeah, and then yeah. like, and his music choice is pretty bad too. Like, it's like, it's like lo-fi hip hop, and like, it makes you feel very chill. And like, with Marvel sports, what we do, like, we we're basically role playing, and we're getting into the mindset of like, oh, they're real athletes. But when you have they a very unenthused, athletes, unenthusiastic like commentator, they're more and, athletic than you. I mean, I bet they <laughs> are. Like, take take Kinnowin from the Rangers. I bet Kinnowin could beat you in a race any day. I, I don't who know, wants maybe. to see that? But, hey. Hey, this is a filler, so I can say what I want. Who but wants anyway. to see that? Mr. Waff versus Kinnowin from the Arrangers. Okay, someone, let's see some, let's see some opinions in the chat. This, uh, this well, very, if, you know. Are you done interrupting small me? Small live chat. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not done interrupting you. Well, too I bad. want to see Waff versus, for, no, maybe at MarvelCon 2025. <laughs> Waff versus and Brendan. <laughs> we'll do like, uh, we'll do like, who can interrupt and stumble over each other in a conversation the most? Because right now I'm winning that. Um, but anyways, but yeah. what ha- what happened is, it, is like the problem with like by having such an unenthusiastic commentator and having very chill audio and music, it makes it takes you out of the uh, the mindset of like of being an action packed sport. And so even though their quality of footage and tracks and stuff like that are, are all better, it's not is engaging, and as a result, it doesn't like you just not don't have as much fun with it. With toy racing, the, the other half of it, I enjoyed his much more because he sounded very enthusiastic and his music was action packed. Although he played it for the entire event, and some people liked that, some people didn't, but it was definitely better because just because of his, um, his personality and his his video quality was not as good as MNH's. I from what I can remember, and even then, I still enjoyed it more just because of his enthusiasm and his quality of commentary. Yeah, definitely the uh, the toy racing guy was a little bit more excitable. Who's kind of like a he had like a southern accent, which was kind of funny too during the whole thing. Um, yep. I mean, I gotta just give a shout out to Killian right now because uh, he's doing a great job in the chat answering people's questions so that I can uh, continue to ramble in this filler. I mean, uh, I might mod him. I might mod him because he's doing a good job. Find out next time on MSWP. Uh, <laughs> imagine if I just uh, ended it right here and threw that music in. You know what? What, yeah. what was that music I did last time? Dun, 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 you know that was so funny. Imagine if I just threw it in, like no, whatever. You know, do the jo- the JoJo anymore. to be continued music. Bum 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 bum. We are tired. In case you couldn't tell, we are very tired. You- He's doing. You're doing great. See, this is called how to do a filler. Okay, this, this is how you, you do just, filler. You, I mean, like Mr. Waff just sang for you. So I mean, like, isn't that isn't that amazing? Let's see what else is in my uh, my notes for uh, filler time. All right, wait. Do I? I might even still have those because I was looking for those and I don't have them. I mean, the thing is, I can just keep talking. So like, this filler is really just you know a little bit off, more off topic than usual. So. uh yeah, the same yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. Filler up. I actually have a, a note called filler episode. So in case I had to do one of these, I oh, could really? like have stuff for it. Um, 
Yeah, but I didn't expect it to be late, so I expect it actually to be able to think, right? Marble Vase video games? We oh, damn it. I, oh, okay. Good thing I didn't say anything. Uh, but yeah, Marble Vase video games would be cool. They actually do have a couple of those out. Uh, on Steam, like Marble yeah. it up. Marble it up! You know, but... Uh, is it I, late I where you're that. at? Why are you screaming when it's so late it over is there? It's 26, and like someone in my neighborhood's gonna hear Marble it up. Uh, uh, Nova Wolf's going to get yogurt. Mm. Uh, uh, I guess talk about something that's gonna be <laughs> pretty much every time. Every time I see something random, that becomes the new name of of this episode. So right now, it's uh, I'm going to get yogurt. That's the yogurt. name. So we'll see what it becomes by the time I release it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, so right. Yeah. Right now, this episode is about going to get yogurt. Um, uh, I guess to try and get something talking again, so, um, as we've already mentioned before, but in the previous episode, but that's lost, Marble Mayhem is gonna have returning with season three on Sunday, and so, if you haven't seen the first two seasons of Marble Mayhem, you go check it out. It's br- pretty good, and as you probably knew, like there, it was in 3D at first, but then LEGO couldn't continue making the 3D stages for the season for whatever reason, so... That's been canceled. So if you want to see a season 3D in the future, you're going to have, um, and you know how to animate with like Unity or some other 3D program. Try contacting contacting Hershey and like letting him know like what you can do and maybe show like an example of like an event that you made or something. And like, because it's only through fan interaction and uh, involvement that you can actually make the season 3D a reality. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard that three times this week, and yes. this will be your guys' first time hearing this because, you know, that video got corrupted. Mm-hmm. Uh, not video. You know what? I'm starting to do it now because, like, people are like, people that know of my podcast are like, oh, where can I watch it? I'm like, dude, it's an audio. It's an audio. You listen to it. You listen to it, and you shut your own mouth and <laughs> listen to it. But, like, it's, you can, actually, you can watch some podcasts. Yes. But, like, people, like, pe- even after I've said that, um... You know, people are like, oh, he's got his yogurt. He's got his yogurt. All right. Um, I mean, right now the episode's name is I got my yogurt. <laughs> I will now open the yogurt. <laughs> you're just you're doing a good job because you know that I'm too tired to ignore this. <laughs> uh, can you mention like like even though the pun is gone for like season 3D, um, Hershey does still want a 3D season, and like we talked about it. So he if if someone with the skill to do it comes along. It will happen, definitely. It's just that yeah, we just don't know is, anybody who does. Now, numerous times that we are grasping at straws to find someone that can do 3D editing for Marble Mayhem. Yes. I mean, if you're out there, you've heard it enough times, just just make it happen. If you're not, then, like, you know, there's not more, much more we can do. Except, for, I guess, say it in every single uh, every single episode from now until we find someone. Yeah. Um, or pray that I but, learn how to animate with Unity somehow. But that that's not a guarantee. That's, that is... A, and there, who, knows, who knows how long that'll take? Yeah. Probably uh, five weeks. That, you, um, I heard weeks. That was literally all I heard. <laughs> that <laughs> it probably would take 20 weeks. 20 weeks. If I had weeks. the free time, yeah, but I, I, I have other projects to do. Like, I have my own YouTube channel. I have school coming up in the, in the 19th. I'll be starting that What again. is a YouTube channel? Yeah, that's cool, though. Yeah, Yeah, and so I, so it's it's definitely not something that I'd be able to fit. Like, if I started trying to learn Unity, it would take up what little free time I have. Cause to, like, to get it good and to do it and to do it well, I definitely have to spend some quality time learning it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I loudly opened and closed the bottle through that through that whatever you just said <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry um uh, new, uh, new title waf goes to school like, nah, well, we, we, okay this episode nah. will be um asmr for nova Wo- commentating on nova wolf is doing the yogurt nova right. wolf is now no, eating the you, yogurt and you, you you sound good when you do that like you should just talk like that all the time thank you welcome to the marvel sports worldwide podcast i can't this is like the My um is too intense we're now on as people say we're now on NPR, everybody. NPR, what a pretentious freaking channel, too. You know, <laughs> that's that's my grand opinion on that, with no facts to back it up, because I have never listened to NPR. I just uh, I listen to I NPR. Just said that I, I think of they, they have do. more of unbiased news, but what a but their, their ads were you know? I, their ads were getting excessive. Like they kept like doing advertisements for themselves, like every few minutes, and so I kind of stopped listening to them. But like they're de- oh, it's the strawberry yogurt with. <laughs> 
the strawberry yogurt. <laughs> with M&M's. The yogurt oh, is I mean, strawberry like with, M&M. with M&M's. It is. Uh, can you crunch those M&M's? Can you make that sound? Title, The Roast. On uh, th- th- So far, I think the t- most consistent thing we've done is talk about is roasting other people. I, or at least Marvel Guy does. I haven't really been. I, di- I provided criticism for M&H, and I actually provided some positivity for NPR, so, you know. It, Dude, he's, he's, he's doing good. He's doing very good. He's I'm the, I'm positivity the, I'm, for NPR I'm, means good. I'm the mediator. good podcasting. Yeah. I guess, I guess technically. Oh, my God. How long are you going to be? Oh my god, now I'm gonna have to edit this part out. What is this like? 30. Fine. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hello? You're very, you're very loud and it's very late. You're now experiencing so some technical difficulties. Please yeah, wait yeah. as we try second. to sort it's this like, out. Like, In the meantime, um, what am I, how much we far can into this? Like 25 minutes? Talk I have about... to try at least 45, so like 20 more minutes. Uh. Like, <laughs> What time is it right now? This, it if this is the, uh, this is the like true 12, indicator 55. of how unplanned and off the cuff this truly is, Can this is what? going to be oh, our worst oh, episode or really possibly bad. our best for bad. how bad it is. I don't right. know which one or the other. It's going to be one All of right. the two. Uh, let's see here. Let's find something on my desk to talk about. I have here. Let's not. Uh, oh no! Oh, are you back now? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, oh, I uh, the, y- y- I, y- I literally, y- I have actually gotten a complaint because I, I was screaming before. Well, well of course I, you, I forgot I was late. It's it's midnight. You're screaming. Not, of course you're gonna get not, complaints. Do not, do not, and I can't even yell at you right now. Okay. <laughs> I Any don't of this yogurt talk? Did it happen? Okay. All right. If, if they, they were, okay, I forgot that it was very late. Okay. I'm trying to simulate a situation in which everybody's happy, okay? Mm. And so I want to pretend like it's like 8 o'clock. Um, um. This is the Marvel Sports Worldwide Podcast. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, the live chat is bumping right now. How, mm-hmm. Why are you guys still up? Why? They were up okay, till 1 in the morning with me last I'm night. I'm only doing this because I care so much about the podcast that I want to make sure I get content out. But you guys could... okay. Late night gang. Okay, you you is that why you stayed up so you could spam late night gang in the chat because that makes you feel cool. Is that is that why? Because <laughs> you know what, you know what, you're not cool. You're not. You're great. <laughs> Actually, anyone who says that is less cool, in my oh, opinion. Ooh. In oof. my grand opinion. The big All right, oof. and thank you for hyping me up in the background with some oofs. Oof. That was good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess major like, oof. Major oof. All right, something to talk about. Uh, I guess uh, um, so. Marblades is looking good. marbles. Marbles. Let's talk about marbles. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess like so. Marblades. Like as a as a patron, I got to see it got kind of a, a little uh, what, what's it called? Uh, exhibition round for uh, um, was it Thrasher? I believe that was his name. Like, and like it's against some of the nine, nine Marblades, and he is definitely d- an interesting Marblade. I'm looking forward to seeing him compete. Uh, An interesting it, Mar Blade. <laughs> yeah, it it should come out after Marble Mayhem is over, and then after that we'll finally get the M Games, which everybody's been looking forward to. Like, I'm honestly excited for all three, but but I'm probably because I'm, I'm just an, a big MSPN fan. I think that should have been obvious at this point to anybody who's been listening. Hey, but, I I agree. You know, I mean, like, I mean, Hershey should be here now because he'd be happy. I I am a big MSPN fan. Like, I am so excited for their M Games. They just got to speed up the process a little bit, they, you know. But I know he's trying to work, make sure the quality is good. But I want to see some M games. I want to see some because it it uh, sounds like it's going to be a really um, enjoyable marble sport. Um, you know, actually, time put into it, well done. Commentary that doesn't bore you have to sleep. You hey, know, like well, this well, podcast. Nova, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. No, no, I didn't say what happened in the video. I'm just saying that I have as a as a perk, I get to see some special stuff, which, if anything, is a good way to advertise people to go and become patrons. I didn't spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, he's just trying to grab your money. But uh, <laughs> yes, um, I I am at, okay. You should probably try to become a patron if you really want that in, uh, inside information, or just become a host of a podcast because you kind of get all the information anyway. Um, <laughs> no, of co- I didn't say that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this live chat is saying some cool things, mm-hmm. um, and I'm excited for M Games. And I mean, Mar- okay, Marvel Showdown. Are we forgetting? Are we forgetting 
how this podcast even uh, was born. Well, I didn't because reveal because of Marble Olympics. Okay, um, I mean Marble Showdown's coming, guys. I know we had that air conditioning problem. Um, well, I know that I talk. I say we like I was part of the whole thing. Um, but no, uh, they did. But yeah, it's coming. So uh, I'm really excited for Showdown. Uh, it's it's uh it's gonna be cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh- I'm just That's, responding no again. I, I, really I know this is this is a strange podcast, but like I didn't spoil what happened in the video. All I said that there is a behind the scenes video, which which might want them. I didn't say what happened in the video, oh, and so if you want to see the video, so that doesn't keep people from want to, from becoming patrons because I didn't say what happened in the video. So I don't, I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting some criticism, I guess. I don't know for revealing patron content, even though I haven't actually really revealed anything. Yeah. He's uh he's trying to come back from that one, but you know what, you know what, it's fine. Oh we oh no! That there I re- was a video. Ooh. You know what? You spooky. You just... There's a video oh. you can go watch <laughs> no. if you pay for it. <laughs> or she comes in at the best time with a question mark. Now now Nova Wolf has started some drama. Um, <laughs> hey hey, we could use it. We need to we need to liven it up a little bit over here. Twelve thirty seven a.m. It now is. Okay, we got literally about fifteen more minutes until I just fall asleep on my mic. But um, <laughs> We've, we're thirty minutes through, so I mean, we have a like half of a normal episode at this point. I honestly don't know if we could fill this up anymore, but we'll sure try. I mean, that's why it's called filler. Okay, uh, Hershey just joined the chat. Hello, Hershey. It's nice to see you. I mean, you got you got um, you got me. You got Waff. Yep. And you got some other uh, live chatters. I mean, it's nice to see. You. He finished his yogurt. No. no what, so what? What happened was I mentioned that like, hey, there's a there's a like a behind the scenes video in the, uh, like third third tier patrons. So if you want to go see it, you can go. You can should become a patron basically. Like it's basically free, it's basically advertising the Patreon. Yeah, me- he's helping you. All right. I mean, or he's not, or he's not. Okay. There's only two. Like, things. Remember there's the the, thr- the Thrasher exhibition match possibilities. Is there a BTS? I don't know what that means. There is a yeah. BTS. Yeah. It's technically behind the so scenes, but it's more one. like just an exclusive video, I guess. So it's, it's, it's not really behind the scenes, I suppose. Like by oh, definition, behind, but, BTS means behind the scenes. Yeah. But it's more exclusive. But basically, yeah. If you want some of that exclusive content, become a patron to MSPN. They make some great content. <laughs> Burn the stage. I mean, I think this is a good time to talk about MarbleCon 2025, and the reason it is is because that's the only Marble thing that comes to mind. And that I can actually discuss at this point because, like, it's just too late. Um, MarbleCon 2025 is the Marble convention that will be coming in the year 2025. And, um, <laughs> yes, because we totally have a guarantee for that date. We we do. I actually, it, it is guaranteed. And uh, ooh, Mathis Mathagis is here. Um, however, the hell you, I don't care how you pronounce it. Okay, um, Mathis. No I'm disrespect. Sure no disrespect to you, Mathagis. But I don't, it, it, okay, it's just too much work, all right? Your name is cool, I'm going to call you Matt, all right? Um, and he's not hes not actually listening in live here, so that's probably good. But he actually listens to these, so he's going to hear that and he's going to be like, oh, Jesus, this motherfucker. But, um... Yeah, he is our translator. It's going to be Matt. <laughs> he's asking... <laughs> no, I'm not good. Um... But yeah, MarvelCon 2025, to give some background, is the MarvelCon coming out in the year 2025. Yes, it's happening. It's I don't know where it's going to happen. I don't. It doesn't matter. I am going. And the plan for MarvelCon 2025 is this. All right. We're going to have a stage. Um, I'm going to come out. I'm going to be like, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Marvel Sports Podcast. And then I'm going to introduce Jell and Dion, and then they're going to like come out in the audience, like doing flips and stuff. Do, do, and they're going to they're going to have like like they're going to be wearing like gangster marble bling. It's going to be really cool. Could you see that? Like like little marble like uh, chains or whatever. I don't know chains with like marbles as like the end. I don't, I don't know. You make your own picture of that, and then <laughs> you you know like side caps sideways that say like oh Rangers or something like that, and they just come out. They'd be like they just and they just talk marbles. I mean, you talk marbles. Uh, there will be what kind of food? Um, I think I'll make sure that there's some uh, some like Chinese takeout because I like Chinese takeout. But what is this conversation? Uh, we're ta- we're planning uh, Marvel Con 2025. 
Should we let Hershey in? Like, because we, we we should probably get some like more people just to get livened it up. Like, if you have recording stuff ready, then sure, I guess we can probably like, just for this one episode we can like let, let open the floodgates. But you have to actually record your audio. You know what the awesome part is, Mister Waff? What? It literally doesn't matter what you say because it's my decision. <laughs> No, no, um, I would, I would, Hershey, I definitely would, because you were actually a really good guest. You actually had good things to say, and you, you, uh, you're a smart man. The, um, the problem here is, is that I'm not equipped to host a podcast with a guest right now. I mean, like, Mr. Waff is enough to handle. He's like a child. I mean, (laughs) see, I got one in there. You see that? Um, but yeah, yeah, uh. Uh, says Brendan Law. <laughs> it was, it was a yeah. Joke. Okay, I, so now I I got that once you got the slash, but because you did, messed up the first time, I didn't see that the slash went through it, and so I thought you were actually being serious about like, wanting to join in. <laughs> All right, but um, okay. So the so live chat, y'all chill in there. I want to see some ideas. Marvel Con twenty twenty five. No jokes. I want real comments because we're actually like planning this. This is not unrealistic. I want to see what you want to see in Marvel Con twenty twenty five. All right, because it's happening. Live M Games event. That'd be cool. Um, sure. Yeah. See, like this is the th- here's the thing about Marvel Con Twenty. This might be the only serious point I make. All right. So just listen up. If you're this far into this, if you are actually this far into this episode, this is a serious point I'm gonna make. Cause I don't, I'm getting like that second wind. I guess kind of all that. I drank how, how much? How many liters of Coke? One point two five liters of Coke in the last six hours. Um, wow. So that's uh, that's enough to uh, give you that second wind at, uh, what is it, 12.42 a.m. on August 10th, 2019. But, yes, the serious point I do have to make is that if the Marvel Con 2025 does come to fruition, um, and I think it will, um, I'm not expecting it to be a JMR-only thing. You know, I'm expecting it to be a Marvel sports, like, you know, hub, you know, to uh, per se. Uh, it was just a lot of different opportunities for many marble channels you know not just jmr not just mspn i mean they can make their own conventions for 2030 i don't know but i mean like for this especially for like a first marble con i want it to be like all these fans coming and enjoying all these marble sports um it won't be in atlanta okay we don't know because it it, it probably would be here's here's why hershey um because uh you know someone has to pay for it right and I think there's like, you know, no, it won't be where I live because I'm not paying for it. I think <laughs> your best bet on paying for it is uh, JMR. So like, you know, hopefully that, but like, I feel like the MarbleCon, whoever actually pays for it should allow the Marble channels to do live events. Um, yes. Uh, because it's just, it's just, you know, a way to, it's a, it's a community. It's a community builder, this, this convention. You can sell a lot of merch, you can eat a lot of stuff and you can uh, watch a lot of marbles. Um, yeah. It will be really. There will cool. be a. What would be really cool is like if the MSWP got a panel like that'd be. I, I think that'd be really awesome. Oh, dude! It w- I would be like help and plan this thing. So there would be a panel. There would be a live episode. There would be a live chat. There would be call-ins. There would be, um, uh, you know, like things. There'll be cool things, and you see, definitely put it in your schedules. You got to come out. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Cool things. Cool things, yep. Cool things. Uh, no, why does everyone want to be in the episode? And why do we have to all put a million ends on in? There will be. I mean, just... Things. There will be. Now, by the way, guys, we're working on live call-ins. Okay, so that's going to happen at some point. Yeah, we want to so, try it. We want to try that. But we're not sure uh, how it's going to work out just once yet. Once we figure it out, like once we make it so that it can be easily done without me having to do a lot of extra work, then you can. Then we can actually do live calling. So just uh, be patient. Um, don't hold your breath, but uh, we might get there. So uh, take, a, take a deep breath on that. And uh, um, I mean, the pro- see, the problem with people talking in the VC right now, uh, the voice chat for people who uh, can't uh, imply their own acronyms, uh, is that I can't record you, and neither can WAFs. So, like, you Brendan. would just talk, and you wouldn't be heard. Brendan, this is the worst I have ever heard your mic cutting out on my end. This has been... I'm talking really, into it. But it's been cutting out real bad, 
and it's kind of annoying. <sighs> you, you really need to fix this, man. You gotta fix it. How do I fix it? What do you mean? How do I fix this? What I do don't I do? know. I don't know. You're doing something. I I don't I don't know. Okay, twelve forty six AM August tenth, twenty nineteen. This is the Marvel Sports Worldwide Podcast. My name is Brendan. <laughs> and I'm Commander Wolf, and apparently we're restarting the podcast at the 30 minutes in, 40 minutes in now. No, we record separately on Audacity to answer Nova Wolf's uh, live chat question. Um, see, that's the annoying, the one thing about the live chat is that, like, every time s- someone, like, I want to mention a message from it, because you guys, you guys, every once in a while, will say something intriguing. I have to, like, you know, say, like, you know, your name and that you're from the live chat and everything, because, like, the people that, are listening to this without the live chat won't like understand them talking about your comments if I don't mention everything. But uh, I mean, that's just that's a dumb complaint. Why did they even say that? Why did yeah, they uh, even uh, waste we, we that missed time? that? Um, uh, uh, Hershey brought up a, a good idea, like a live naming session for a Marblade. That that would be kind of cool, actually. I, I mean, mean, I think it's also kind of cool that Nova Wolf is gonna <laughs> throw away his yogurt. All oh, right, we got we got to do the commentary. <laughs> Nova Wolf is now throwing away his yogurt. He is. I mean, if you, like, it's a wrap. At first, like we, we can say what this chat says for name ideas. I suppose like, if we want to na- name the Marblade like during this episode or whatever, like, like honestly, like we got like twenty more minutes to fill. Like I would be down for that. Dude, uh, yeah, we got like eight. Yeah. We we need to see a picture though. Oh, oh I guess the, our audience won't be able to see it, but you know, they can come to the Discord and look at it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're listening right now, you should just get into the Discord because then you can chat. You can bother me. It's <laughs> it's fun. It actually is fun. Okay, all right, it is. So you should just get on it. Um, if you don't have Discord, I mean, well, I mean, I have no. I don't have a solution. <laughs> make an account. I mean, that's usually what people do. If you don't want to make an account, if that's too much work for you. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, but the live chat's kind of fun. And you can always email us at uh, whatever our email is. Uh, I think Mr. Woff said it, like, you know, mswpodcast at uh, gmails.com. And there you can talk to us about stuff. Uh, we actually do have a fan mail. Uh, oh, okay. This actually is proof it's late. Because, like, I was actually looking for that fan mail, like, at the beginning of this episode, wasn't I? And then, like, I got distracted yeah. by a comment. And then... Oh, I thought the comment was Mr. the fan Wolf, mail. No, no, there's actually a fan mail uh, from this person named Madeline, and she. this is how it goes. This is fan mail. Have you lost your marbles? And then a bunch of emojis, um, uh, and then she puts in all caps, but I can't yell because it's late. Love your podcast, you smarty, and then like some love Maddie and Amanda. So how nice of them. Oh, thank you so much, to, Maddie uh, and Amanda. Yeah, uh, that, that's, that, that makes me feel good on this uh, 1249 a.m., August 10th, 2019, day, night thing. And it's great. Uh, and that's great. not made up, okay? You can get girls from Marvel Sports Podcast. Okay, you can. That's absolutely true. And, and like, don't don't live chat at me about this. So, all right, so we got the Marblade in our chat now. So it looks kind of, like, dragon-esque to me with the green and the the red. Um, kind of, It looks like a flame on top. And as Hershey mentioned, the, the marble looks kind of like the Irish flag. So I'm... I'm trying to figure oh, out. Oh like, God! Okay, okay, okay. Hershey, please. If you call that Marblade, Mister Waff, I will give you ten. I will give no, you no. ten dollars, like a year. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 no, do it. No, please. So stop, stop. Everyone in the live chat, start voting this up. Wait, call, wait, 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 wait. Call that Marblade, Mister Waff. Please. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. What? I don't know until he dies, Nova Wolf. Ten dollars a year is not that bad. Um, oh, that's a ten dollars a month. Call it Mister Waff. No, 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 not Mister Waff. Like this. Like you have to spell out Mister. Oh, Mister. Oh Mister. What is what is Waff. going on? That's the name of the Marblade. Please, oh, I will do anything. Oh my word! On the one hand, yeah, yeah, I, I give more than that per month. So I totally think no, I that's, have more. That's sp- not the point of this. Okay, uh, <laughs> I just want you to name the Marblade. I mean, yeah, he gives you money, so pay homage to him and name the Marblade <laughs> after him. He probably will spin quite well. I mean, he's spinning around right now on this podcast. 
Um, I'm sp- I'll, I'll spin right now to make that point actually legitimate. Oh, do you have one of those wheelie spinny chairs? Oh, shit. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. And now that's the loudest thing. Well, I almost knocked over my microphone. <laughs> <That's>, okay. <laughs> Could you imagine? Lost all audio. Oh, more filler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, okay, that... <laughs> I didn't... No, no, you should actually call it Mr. Wolf because it would actually be, like, mysterious because no one would understand it, but it would, like, be a cool contestant. Because you know how you... You, yeah, you should do it, Mr. <laughs> Waff O'Hara. It's so ridiculous. Like, part of me wants to to go against it, but another part of me wants to see it happen just for the meme. The meme. Yeah, we need to start accumulating some memes up in here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, a meme we do. Uh, but yeah, you know what? You know what should become a meme? This freaking like thing that I hold up my my mic with. I'm looking at it right now, and it's just pissing me off right now. Sorry, I, that's that's too strong of a word for this late 12:51 a.m. on August 10th, 2019. Um, this arm I hold to use my podcast up, uh, which is not my own arm. It's it's like a metal one. It like it it none of the things work. None of the things work. Like there's like all these little things you screw in to like keep everything steady and like so the mic is stable and none of them work. They none of them tighten correctly. So I have to take string and tie the whole thing up. It looks like it looks like I went to a junkyard and just <laughs> tied this whole thing together. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. Our chat is doing some amazing things. So Nova posted a old comment of yours. Let's see. You just salty, bro. I get girls even ones older than I, barring the MSWP ad. And now we're done. Now we're done. And then Hershey said, should we name a Marblade X Camo? Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done. I hate that we haven't reached enough time yet. We have not reached Because enough. that... And why Why are you reading that? You're my co-host. I thought we were but, friends. But we're, we're interacting with our audience and we have nothing to do and I'm super tired. So I'm trying to find something to make this at least a, somewhat interesting. Because this is, this is going to be our probably our worst performing episode if we're being honest here because this is filler so we got we got to make it interesting i mean like that was just that's just cr- and of course nova wolf has that uh, no please don't elaborate on that please do not uh that's why you let me in try to leave what do you mean i don't know i don't know now the chat's just confusing me Twelve fifty three a.m august 10th oh 2019 this is like a diary this is like a voice di. Oh my god, a voice diary sounds like a faggot. Um- <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> oh boy. Oh Jesus. Um. Yeah, but this is this has been quite interesting. Um. I mean. I mean, we talk marbles. This is like, <laughs> Brendan's captain's log. All right. You know what? We know what the problem is. Let me tell you the problem. We haven't... We, we're not very decisive, okay? Because I, I get Brendan half the time, and I get Marble Guy the other half. So right now, like, I'm kind of... Like, I'm kind of two people at once, and I, I have enough to handle being one person. So this is very, very confusing. Um, yeah. Now... I, I, I agree. Like, it's kind of actually kind of weird, like, hearing Marble Guy and then Brendan and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we both agreed on that, which is which is really cool. Which means since we both agreed on it, it means like the chat will absolutely disagree and keep doing that. So, yay. Um, yeah, 12.54 a.m. August 10th, 2019. Uh, yes, my name on the Discord is Marble Guy. Guys, guys, please add me on Discord. Uh, it's Marble Guy, and then all, there's um, there's a bunch of numbers after it that you have to remember. I don't I don't know what those are, so just guess them. Just you could make your name like Mar- you could make your name like Marble Guy hyphen Brendan, I suppose, like to make it easier for people. No, to know. then then it just looks like I'm I'm trying to um you know then it just looks like you know I'm trying to take all the attention away. You know, no, I'm not changing it to Mar- <laughs> the Marble Marble Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Matthias is really confused because he's not in the voice chat, so he has no idea what's going on. Brendan, <laughs> he's guy. just seeing this. Imagine if you look. <laughs> He's just seeing this live chat. Oh, oh Jesus. 4729. Oh, that's a random number. I'm not sure what happened there. What okay. Oh that oh that's that's the numbers after my Discord day. Oh hey. Uh yeah. Marble guy hashtag four seven two nine. Add me on Discord if you want to um 
what what goes on there? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you if you add me on Discord, I'll like I'll probably bother you if you've listened to the podcast. And then once you're like, no, I'll be like, oh, well, you gotta go listen. And then if you say you have, then I'll be like, oh, well, we uh we need help, you know, and we do. So you know, I'll just keep bothering you. <laughs> it's it's a pound out of hashtag. I don't care what it is. Okay, it's it looks like a tic tac toe board. All right, hashtag doesn't even make. What did that? That word doesn't make sense. The pound doesn't make sense. It looks like a tic tac toe board. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Right, they call me a millennial. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it just doesn't I, I guess, matter. We didn't. We didn't mention. Like, we briefly mentioned ESPN. Like, should we mention the ESPN thing since it happened literally two days ago? I oh think- yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try to talk about that more in a serious time because it actually was pretty good. They they yeah. did a good job. They they were very professional in how they remove Olympics, um, you know. Even though you know it was, you know, I could I could almost feel the tension in in uh, in uh, Greg's voice though when he said Marble Games instead of Marble Olympics. Like he, you know, it was rough for him. Uh, MSPN should have been on ESPN. I wholly agree, Hershey. I want I I so want to one day see like just the bottom left corner say MSPN instead. Like, what if the whole Ocho was like all the different Marble Sports cha- channels? Oh, that'd be so great. Yeah, I mean that's that's our task. I mean, pretty much me and Waff's task. If you're wondering like what our position is in the Marvel Sports community, is that we we sit here, okay, and we talk, and then we come up with ideas. So I'm like, oh, MarvelCon 2025, and he's like, oh, ESPN talk show, and then we come up with these ideas, and then we're like, okay, now we're gonna do them. All right, we're gonna do them. So we just work. Um, I. And we just, well, we just talk. And then hopefully sometime, someday it will happen. I mean, you know, Melikus listens to these rambles. So maybe he'll just be like, oh, let's just do the, one of his ideas. I'm going to be surprised if Melikus gets to this whole episode. Like, I would be very surprised. Like, Yeah, they also could have been like Marvel Sports even as their own podcast. But they didn't do that either, did they, Hershey? I mean, I, I mean, they, I, um, yeah, well, I don't know. I want to know why I said that meanly. You weren't, you weren't being mean to me, but, uh, yeah, you're right. They could have said that. They could have said that other thing too, but, um, you know what you got to give, Hey, it's their first time. It's their first yeah, time getting first on ESPN. Time. A lot of work to do. Hey, maybe next year, maybe next year. Honestly, the, I, I, I really would oh, love no, to they, see it. Oh, yeah, you no, know, they didn't. Of course they didn't. Um, wouldn't that have been cool? But like, no, like, I feel like it would have been very, you know, without any explanation to that, people have been like, ah, and then just moved on. Like, you know, and I mean, like, I'm glad because then, they, I mean, the most recent episode they would have came to is this one. And, uh, whoa, that wouldn't have been very good, would it? <laughs> uh, yes, I have Nova Wolf. I'm not going to read the question because, yes. uh, it's not, no, don't do it. I'm not doing, don't no, do no, no, it. No, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm saying that. Thank you. There, there's a reason why I don't record the voice chat for Discord, and it's because of mic issues. That is why we do this individually. Oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna elaborate. Okay, we're gonna end by me elaborating on Nova Wolf's question, but not ever reading it or really trying to make sense of what, uh, make it easy for the listeners to figure out what it's saying. So, Nova Wolf, I feel that it's actually easier to do that than to do the opposite of that. Because I don't know, it's just something about the um, the maturity of the people. You know, if you if you if you act mature, then then, then it's easy. As opposed to doing with the with the uh, the opposite of of what you're saying, where then you know you, you got to kind of dumb yourself down, and then that's actually hard. Okay, trust me. Hey, from experience, Mister Waff, I'm serious. And like, don't don't at Marble Guy fail me. Like this is. No. You, you, what, what I'm finding funny me. is like you're set, you're trying to dance around the question by not directly addressing it, but you're also cutting out for me. So whenever you come back in, I can't even guess what you're talking about because it's so vague and it's the, the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. But okay, so really the point here is yes, go for go for the older ones. All right. <laughs> what the heck is going on? That because what is the... happening. <laughs> and the re- I'm just. Vote for X Camo, and go for the older ones, um, Mister Waff. You probably need a couple of drinks, and you know what? It's one a.m. It's one a.m. August tenth, twenty nineteen. Sailing away, and I'm following you. And that is it for today. Okay, oh, or thank tonight, the or this Lord. morning. And thank him. Good. See you guys next time with a more serious. Hey, I will say next time we'll actually be more serious. 
You'll get the Beta Wolves conversation, hopefully. You know? Hopefully, and, yes. uh I mean, you're you're literally in in the next like five ten seconds about to get the 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 that music thing oh, blasted. Do at not you. worry, for I shall provide it for you, as I am sleep deprived and will now willing to do it. Is like, how's it going? Is like. <laughs> <laughs> 